Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. How the heck is everybody doing out there? T-G-I-F, huh Pisces? T-G-I-F. Let's do some cards. Let's throw some cards for Pisces and see what's coming up. Yeah, see what's coming up. It could be six seconds. It could be six weeks. It could be six months. It just depends on who you are and where you're at in your journey. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to the table, and let's talk about some things. If you're coming back to the channel, come on in. Y'all know what to expect. Help yourself to whatever's in the kitchen, and let's have a talk. All y'all, subscribe to the channel. It helps my channel grow. Been around since 2018. I have a bit of a cult following. It's pretty much only Taurus and Pisces. I have recently added Gemini to the mix, so I will be reading regularly for Gemini as well. So Taurus, Pisces, and Gemini. I am a Taurus sun, but I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus on the cusp of Aries, no less. The only way that Gemini works into the whole thing is that the channel took a vote and we all decided Gemini should join the tribe. So that's where the Gemini aspect of things comes in. I have no Gemini anywhere in my chart. So let's do this, you guys. Let's throw these cards and see what the heck is coming towards us. Spirit, Source, universal energy. What, what is coming towards the collective of Pisces? I have Pisces sitting here with me, Spirit. What do they need to know? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, Pisces themselves, the Queen of Cups. Fantastic. Woohoo! Followed by the Empress. Wonderful. The Moon coming to terms with some things. Death in reverse, a personal transformation. The Prince of Cups and the Emperor. Holy schmoly Pisces. All right, that'll make sense to us in a minute. Yes, I'm doing it differently this time. It's not widescreen, it's phone screens, 916 I think it is, because I have some other plans for this video and I need it in this format. So bear with me, Pisces. So the Eight of Cups is the first card out. So something better. To the star, Path purpose, the world in reverse, a bit of a blockage to that path purpose. The high priestess in reverse, we'll see what that is. The nine of cups in reverse in the center of the reading. So this is about emotional unfulfillment, the princess of swords, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, the queen of pentacles in reverse, the two of pentacles, the four of wands in reverse, the six of pentacles in reverse, the ten of swords, the devil, the Princess of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Wands to the Six of Cups, the Magician in reverse. Wow, fantastic. Look at that, look at that. The Four of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Ooh, and Temperance will take that as well. Well, fantastic. Let's make some sense out of this. All right. So the Eight of Cups, you're walking out of something and you're walking into something, Pisces. And look what I have here. I have the Six of Cups, the Empress, Six of Cups and the Empress to the Eight of Cups. Well, fantastic. Tell me about the star, the path and the purpose. Obviously the Six of Cups and the Empress, but what does Pisces need to know about this? The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. That's the path of purpose. The world in reverse, but there's a blockage. There's a blockage. Anything that needs to be said about the world in reverse, anything at all. Yeah, look, the Four of Swords. 
contemplation and reevaluation. What's the high priestess in reverse about? All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? So this is a reading for a Pisces, and it doesn't mean it's you, but it is for a Pisces that is in a state of emotional discomfort in their life, okay? Emotional discomfort. This Pisces is, this Pisces is carrying a burden that they don't need to carry, okay? All right, let's go back to the top. We'll come back down here in a second. So, 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 so. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks, in, talks about being finished with something, okay? The guy in this card is walking away from value, all right? The golden cups are worth something. The wine in the cups are worth something back in the day, right? And he has just had enough of trying because the eight is about action, right? He's had enough of trying and he is realizing that he's never going to be satisfied for whatever reason with this eight of cups. And he is walking into the nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. That's why he's leaving something because he's going towards something else, right? So the eight of cups walks into the nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. The eight of cups is about emotional disappointment. Okay, so this particular Pisces, whatever the situation and circumstance is for you, this is a general reading. If these were your cards, we'd be able to dig up all the details, okay? But this particular Pisces needs to realize that it's time to walk away from something, okay? What's the problem here is the Six of Cups, okay? The Six of Cups is a card about memories, nostalgia. Sometimes it can be children. Sometimes it can be past lives kind of stuff. But for this Pisces, this card is about your comfort zone, okay? You are comfortable somewhere, and the time has come for you to step away and go into the unknown waters, Okay, so Six of Cups here represents Pisces comfort zone, the four fuzzy walls that make up your comfort zone. Six fuzzy walls, okay? <laughs> to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse because you can no longer grow here. Just like that Eight of Cups, right? You, you just, it's just not here anymore. You cannot grow the seeds of your life that you are inspired to grow inside of you in your current situation, the Empress, and it's time to boss up. It's time to put on your boss bitch britches and boss up. It truly is. The Empress is lesson number three of life. The Empress is the dirt of life. Nothing grows without the Empress. And that's because she's made from the lessons before her. Lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, the Empress. Lesson one is the magician who is here a couple of times, okay? The magician is about your internal self-narrative. What you believe about yourself is your reality. So the magician understands that if he can control his mind, if he can empty his mind of all of the bullshit that doesn't matter to your soul's journey, and he can focus on his on his universal order and the the experience of his soul in this lifetime, right? If he can focus all of his intention on, on whatever it is that he's trying to manifest, if he can take his emotions, right? The four elements that make up the human nature is the mind, the emotions, the sense of well-being, and the desires or the inspirations and aspirations, okay? If the magician can control his mind, he can control his reality. If he can control his emotions, he can control his reality. Reality. If he can control his f flesh, his human understanding of things, if he can point his desires towards his, his internal inspirations and aspirations, he can manifest.
if he can control his sense of well-being, his insecurities and the things that would keep him from even attempting to get what he wanted, right? Now he has control of all four elements of the human nature and he is focused upon what it is that he wants to create in his life. That's manifestation, okay? Lesson two is the high priestess. The high priestess is your soul. It is your soul's consciousness trying to lead and guide your human life in the direction that it needs to go in order to follow the thread of your best and highest good. The Empress understands this. The Empress pulls these two concepts together and becomes lesson three. She understands her internal self-narrative dictates her life, so she's very careful what she allows herself to believe. She understands that her intuition is leading her and guiding her and showing her the best and highest good for her life in this short 100-year box. And she follows it, and she doesn't argue with it. This puts her in a place of such power over her existence that she can literally create anything that she wants to. She has to be careful that she stays in the upright, though, because if she goes in the reverse, she's serving her flesh. She needs to stay in the upright so she can serve her soul. To the star, your path and your purpose lies in you walking away from this situation and stepping into your power. To the nine of cups. Your path, the, your purpose, the renewal of your life is leading you directly towards wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. But there's a problem. There's always a freaking problem, right? There's a problem. The world in reverse. There's a blockage. You are going to potentially repeat yet again some kind of cycle of your life because you're not standing in your power, because you have reserves about walking away or changing something in your life, changing something, changing where you live, changing what you do for a living, uh, following some kind of internal compass that you have that's trying to lead you somewhere, but you're afraid to leave your comfort zone. And that's the blockage of the world in reverse. You can't close out the old chapter and step into the new chapter until you actually close out the old chapter and step into the new chapter. What's, what's going on here? The Four of Swords. It's time to come to terms with any kind of grief, sorrow, or pain that might be in your mind about what it would feel like to leave this comfort zone. Pick up the fourth sword, bring stability to your mindset, eight of cups, and walk away from it. Walk into, even if you're not, even if you're not walking away from something, if you keep going, you're going to walk into the nine of cups. Strength comes on top of it and says, overcome, do not succumb to this situation. Whatever this warm, fuzzy thing is that is uncomfortable for Pisces to peel their self away from, whether, like I said, a job, a relationship, um, a, a hobby, uh, uh, whatever, alcohol, drugs, whatever you need to peel yourself away from, it is in your best and highest good. It is in your path and your purpose to go towards that which inspires you to live and be alive. To temperance. Temper yourself. Again, back to the four elements of the human nature. Peace in the mind. Peace in the emotions. Peace in the mind. Peace in the emotions. Peace in your desires. And peace in your sense of well-being. Okay? Temperance says take a breath. Pull it all together and know and understand that this guidance, this pulling, this advice, this, this wisdom to go towards what it is that to, to move, 
this this guidance to move from your space, Pisces, um, is going to bring you peace. Have peace in your understanding that if the universe is moving you, it's moving you in the direction of your best and highest good all the time, every time. Okay, High Priestess in reverse. This is the upset Pisces. This is Pisces not listening to that movement, not listening to that direction. This is the card of Pisces, by the way, in case you don't know. All right, and, and in, in the reverse, it's Pisces upset with themselves, upset on the inside because you're not following your intuition to the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles says prioritize, balance this, prioritize moving from your comfort zone into an uncomfortable place to the Wheel of Fortune. Because in this uncomfortable place is where your path is, is leading you. It's the divine orchestration of your life. It's the thread in the tapestry of universal order. I asked, what is this disgruntledness right here with, with the high priestess in reverse? And it's the, can you see that? Yeah, it's the five of wands in reverse. Stop avoiding conflict. This card is about avoiding conflict. Stop avoiding conflict. Do what you got to do here. You do what you got to do because the universe needs you to be in this place. It needs you to leave this place and get into this place so everything can just take root. Uh-huh. Nine of Cups in reverse. Remember, I opened with that. It's, a, it's an emotionally disgruntled Pisces, emotionally unfulfilled. Ten of Wands in reverse, because you're carrying a burden that you don't need to carry. You are burdened. You are struggling with leaving this situation. And the universe is like, we don't get it. We don't understand what the big deal is. Don't you understand that this is a soul journey and not a human journey? Discomfort creates motivation. And this is an unmotivated Pisces, unmotivated to step out of their comfort zone. The star again, your path, your purpose, the direction of your life, the way that you're supposed to go, you can feel it. Look, the king of wands, the fire in your chest. What inspires you? Go after it. Get off the couch. Go do it. Pisces, I'm sorry, Princess of Swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. This is you, Pisces. This is you. All talk, no action. Pie in the sky, dreamy ideas about what it is that you'd like to be, but yet never really having the strength to swim upstream. Mm -hmm. To the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, decisions, this idea, that idea, entrepreneurial endeavors, never really being able to just focus and, and do something. And that's what this new stage, this new phase of your life is supposed to be. It's you focusing on not all kinds of things, but this one thing. This one thing right here, this thing that inspires you, that makes you want to conquer, to conquer life. That is what you're supposed to be focusing on, but you have to leave the comfort zone in order to do it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Do you have upset in your family, your home, or your finances, Pisces? Well, Knight of Swords, take some action. Wrap your mind around this understanding and take some action. What under what understanding? The Two of Pentacles. Balance and prioritization. Balancing yourself out and focusing. Fool in reverse, right? I really feel like this should be in the upright, but it did come out in the reverse. But if we read it in the upright, prioritize and balance to step into the new path, the new purpose, and the new journey. But their message to you is the fool in reverse. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Don't waste time being comfortable to the queen of pentacles and put yourself in a position of security understanding that if the unit if it's divinely if if it's universal order it's always in your best and highest good and discomfort creates motivation so step out of the comfort zone right 
Four of Wands in reverse. This is a card about transition. Six of Pentacles in reverse. A transition from this. The Six of Pentacles in reverse is about a greed and your sense of well-being. It's about being greedy. Because in the upright, it's about sharing, right? In the reverse, it's about being greedy. Greed in your sense of well-being, being the Earth energy, being the Pentacles. Okay? So what it's saying is that you are you are willing to forego your soul's journey in order to keep getting something that feeds your comfort. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords in reverse says this shit needs to come to an end. It needs to be a new perspective here. We need to have a renewal of your mindset to the devil because it's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth and it is toxic to your life chained to the foot of the devil this comfort to the princess of wands in reverse lack of effort equals the burden queen of swords get your mind straight make some serious some serious real life serious decisions about what you want your future to look like to the eight of wands and change 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 what the six of cups your comfort Step out of your comfort. Move out of your comfort to the King of Pentacles because this is where you're going to find your success. This is where you are going to grow roots. It's where you're going to find your success, the Eight of Pentacles. It's where you're going to, this new phase of your life, this turning point, this world card, this star, right? Your path, your purpose, standing in your power as the empress, stepping into the nine of cups. This is where you're going to refine yourself. This is where you're going to refine what it is that you believe, who it is that you are, what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Five of pentacles in reverse. Five of pentacles in reverse is about a state of spiritual poverty. It is. To the magician in reverse. And you can't manifest here. You can't. The universe is not going to go against your free will and force all of this awesomeness upon you if you are not ready, willing, and able to do it. And you have to stop avoiding the responsibility of doing it. To the magician in reverse. Back to back. Back to back. Manifestation block. Remember that whole spiel I just gave you about the magician at the beginning of this reading, right? You're out of control of these elements. Find peace in knowing that the direction that you're being led to go is the direction of your best and highest good. And get out of your own way. Four of Cups, contemplate, reevaluate, and take the advice of Source. Again, this is a general reading, all right? If you want real advice from Source, if you want me to connect your consciousness to your subconsciousness so you can find your soul and find your own answers, then hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Otherwise, don't take it too seriously, all right? But contemplate, reevaluate, take the advice from Source that this person is getting to the king of pentacles and stand again in your power. Let them lead you to a place of success. Look, the chariot. Let them lead you to a place of success. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to make the ponies go and they will take you exactly where you need to be to temperance. Find peace in this. Find peace and step away. Step away. Bottom of the deck is the Emperor. Look at that. The Emperor to the Prince of Cups, to Death in Reverse, the Moon in Reverse, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so check this out. What happens? What is a part of this new journey for this Pisces? What is, what is coming towards this Pisces? Well, we have the Emperor... To the Empress, okay? So this is a union of some sort. I have nothing in these cards that straight up talks about love, all right? But this is some kind of relationship. Could be love. It could be absolutely, literally anything else, okay? So this is some kind of a partnership, all right? It's powerful, it's a powerful partnership because when you step into your empress power, like we were talking about at the beginning of this reading, right? You now send out the frequency to attract the emperor, 
the emperor is not going to be attracted to the empress in reverse, right? Someone who's out of control of themselves. You get control of yourself. You take this leap. You go into this unknown place. You leave your comfort zone. And now you're on the frequency of universal order because these cards say so. Okay, and that attracts this person into your life. The death card in reverse. Oh, my bad. Let's go this one first. The Prince of Cups. Okay, there is some kind of emotional wavelength that the two of you are on that just is perfect for everything. To the death card in reverse. This occurs because of an internal transformation that you have to leave that six of pentacles, safety zone. The moon in reverse, coming to terms with that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you just simply have not wanted to accept as the truth. It's coming to terms with it. Mm -hmm. And the queen of cups and following your ancient soul's guidance. To, it, it wants you. It needs you. The next phase of your life is this Pisces for this Pisces. Okay? This is the next phase of your life. This is your ancient soul. This is your ancient wisdom. This is your higher self is the queen and king of cups. It's your higher self. So step into your power. Step away from the stickiness that is keeping you comfortable and do, head on do, whatever this is that the universe is trying to orchestrate in your life. Do it, Pisces. Hope that helps someone. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.